need it right now. It was a human shield, hundreds of people standing firm in the face of a far-right threat. But this extraordinary defence started just a few hours earlier with one woman, Karen Bedwell, the first person to arrive ready to protect her neighbourhood. And for those who think they could come here and maybe cause trouble, your message to them? Just just go back, go back, stay, stay where you are. We don't want no trouble, but, you know, we will defend ourselves if we've got to. It's as simple as that, you know? Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire, you know? And on this occasion, it worked. Karen is 58. Back in 1981, when this area was torn apart by riots, she was the one throwing stones at the police. But this, she says, is different. Mindless thugs who were just hell bent on violence, and anywhere they see, you know, anything flaring up, they're there. It was such a good turnout, and you know, it was peaceful. You know, we we got the message across that we wanted to get across. Why do you think the other side, the other protesters, didn't turn up? Because they were outnumbered. <laughs> This is what they feared, a repeat of rioting in the city last weekend which saw violence erupt on the city streets. Fozia Chowdhury closed her restaurant early yesterday. Her worry has turned to relief for now. It's that fear of the unknown as well, is it going to happen again? And it will happen to... I, I, I don't think it's the end yet, I don't think it is the end. Why do you think this community defended in the way that it did that asylum centre? Because it's not right, this is it, sort of thing. So this is not the values that we have in Liverpool at all, full stop. Liverpool is one of the most multicultural cities I've ever known. But the disruption here and in other places has exposed divisions that might normally have remained under the surface. We need to increase the momentum in which we sit down with each other and relate to each other. I just wonder how damaging you think it's been, and these are people who you live around. That, that, does that damage your view of the area that you live in? Does that worry you? It does, Nick, and it's been extremely damaging. You could see maybe some of your own neighbours get involved in this mindless thuggery trying to sow the seeds of hate, and then suddenly you're in the mindset of, could that be... My next door neighbour, it puts you on edge and that won't be solved overnight. And that could mean that this community will need to harness this energy long after the threats of protest and riots fade. Nick Martin, Sky News, Liverpool.